Hello everyone, it's Miss Kathy here at Sturgis Public Library and today is toddler story time. It's Wednesday, May 26th. So let's start with our hello song. We do the sign language. I hope you're remembering how it goes. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, my toddler friends and preschool friends and all my friends. Today, we are going to go back in the month to last Thursday. I've been picking all these fun different things to celebrate each month and on the 20th, last Thursday on May 20th, it was World Bee Day. You know, those little bees, those little insects that buzz around and you don't want to be stung by them because it hurts, ouch. National Bee, or it was World Bee Day, not National Bee Day, World Bee Day. So, let's celebrate some bees today. Did you know what you get from bees? There is something you might eat that bees make. Do you know what it is? Have you ever tried honey? Bees make honey. I like to put peanut butter and honey on some on my toast sometimes. My brother says he puts honey in his oatmeal every morning. Honey is a very sweet, yummy food made from bees. What else do bees give us? Well, they make something called beeswax. And here is a beeswax candle. This was in my summer reading program kit of things we could make. So we made a, I got to make a beeswax candle and I'm just gonna pull it open a little bit here. This is beeswax. Look at that. You would think it's sticky, but it's not too sticky, but it looks like the little bee honeycombs. It came in a sheet. I stuck a, a candle wick inside, rolled it all up. And now I have a beeswax candle I could burn. <gasps> Isn't that cool? We get beeswax that we can make candles from. And one thing I learned that I didn't know about bees is that there is honeybee venom. And doctors will use honeybee venom in some of the things they use to help treat people with different illnesses that they have. I didn't know there was such a thing. That was so interesting. So bees really are important. Even though we don't like it when they bite us, bees are important. Now, do you know what we can do to help keep bees? Because it's great to have a celebration, a day of World Bee Day, and think about bees and talk about bees and learn about bees. But what can we do to help keep bees? Oh, I forgot to tell you before I get to that part. Another important thing that bees do for us, I have to read it from my sheet. It says one third of the world's food production depends on bees. So every third spoonful of food that you take has depended on bees to make that food. Bees grow 90% of the world of the world's wildflower plants and 35% of the world's crops depend on those bees to grow. They help build ecosystems around the world. Bees are pollinators. They help spread the, the uh, pollen around and pollen is what helps make things grow. So what can you do to help keep the bees around so they can help us with that very important job of making food? You can plant nectar bearing flowers or set up a pollinator farm so the bees can keep making their honey. They can keep pollinating and making their honey. Or beekeepers that are keeping the bees and making honey, buy from a local beekeeper. Buy that honey from a local beekeeper. Then that will keep the bees busy working, making more honey. You can, oh, Avoid spraying pesticides. If you're wanting to get rid of the bugs that eat your flowers and your plants and, and you spray stuff on to keep those bugs away, you can't get away from it. But if you can, 
don't spray the, the sect insecticides, the pesticides. But if you have to spray them, it says doing any spraying in the morning or late at night will ensure that your bees don't get caught in the crossfire. So if you have to spray for the bugs, <laughs> bugs, do it in the morning or late at night so then the bees will not be out there buzzing around pollinating while that pesticide is out there. And if you're lucky enough to have a large outdoor space that's filled with wildflowers, keep a part of that wildflower garden preserved so your bees will have that perfect natural habitat to keep pollinating with. If you were lucky enough, hmm, was it in April? I think it was, the library was handing out wildflower seeds. You could come in and pick up a packet of wildflower seeds. If you were lucky enough to do that and you got wildflower seeds planted somewhere in your yard, watch for bees. They love the wildflowers. That will help them keep pollinating, keep spreading the good stuff to help make the food grow. And they're kind of fun to watch. Just be careful around them. So let's celebrate bees today. And I wanted to start with a finger play that you probably already know. And I went to one of the books we have at the library called Hand Rhymes. And here is that finger play. Do you know the one about the beehive? If you don't, you might check out this book because it has the beehive and many other finger plays in it. But here's how it goes. Here is the beehive. But where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them. Are you peeking in your hive? Watch and you'll see them come out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. Did you know that finger play? Can you do it with me again? We're gonna make your beehive. I stuck I stick my thumb inside my fist. So that's the, where my bees are hide, hiding. Maybe that's the queen bee in the middle. Here's the beehive, but where are the bees? They're hidden away where nobody sees. So cover up your beehive. Watch and you'll see them come out of their hive. Take a peek inside there. Do you see the bees? Oh, I see them coming. Here comes one, two, three, four, five, and there they go. Bzzz. I hope you know that finger play or that rhyme and you've done it before. Well, I decided I wanted to do it on my board. So here's the beehive. Let's do the whole rhyme again, but I'll use it with the board. Here's the beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch, and you'll see them come out of the hive. Here we go. There's, whoops, my hive's gonna move. Oh, my finger's gonna get stuck. One, let's see. Oh, there's another one. Two, do I have one on this side? I do. There's three, I need five of them. I have one, two, three, the next one will be number, yes, four, let's see. Oh, there is, there's number four. Oh, wait, one more, is there one more bee in my hive? Let me see, yes, there it is, number five. One, two, three, four, five, Bzzz. all buzzing around their hive. Oh, that's so much fun to see the bees coming out of their hive. If you see a beehive hanging in a tree, don't bother it. Don't poke it or try to break it open because that's when the bees are gonna get mad and they're going to sting you. Just watch them from a safe distance. Okay, I am going to use my bees again, but I'm going to take them off the board. So let's remove them. Let's take one, two, three, four, five, because I have to put them back on the board. I'm gonna move their beehive down a little bit. This is a rhyme that's going to count 
the bee. So we have to add them to the board. We're counting up. One little bee flew and flew. Bzzz. He met a friend. There's his friend. And that made bzzz. Let's put them together. Count them with me. How many is there? One, two. Two little bees, busy as could be. Along came another. Bzzz. And now how many do we have? Let's put them up here with these two. Count them with me. One, two, three. We have three little bees. They wanted one more. <gasps> Soon they found one. Bzzz. And that made, let's put them up here and count. Count with me. One, two, three, four. <gasps> four little bees going to the hive. Shall we have them look like they're going to start flying to the hive? Bzzz. <gasps> they spied their little brother. Bzzz. And that made, how many is it? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Five, five little bees working every hour. Busy away, bees. Maybe you'll find a flower. Bzzz. Oh, bees are so bright and colorful. You know, I'm looking out the window here at the library and it's a gray, cloudy day. I'm so glad I have these bright yellow and black bees to help us feel happy and summery. Oh, I love bees. Okay, I'm gonna put this book away. I'm gonna go over here. We are going to, oh, I'm going to turn all of you into a bumblebee. Can I turn you into a bumblebee? Yesterday I turned everybody into frogs. We did abracadabra and they were green frogs. So today we're going to do abracadabra and you're a bee. Do you have your bee wings on? Bzzz. I'm going to stand up and move back. So you can see. I hope you are standing up and you're ready to be a bee. Let me see, I'll get over here. Here is how this next rhyme goes. You're the bee. Bzzz. Bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing all around. Are you buzzing around? Bzzz. Bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing to the ground. Bzzz. Get low, buzz, bzzz. you're low to the ground. Bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing up so high. Bzzz, here we go, bzzz. Bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing through the sky. Bzzz, make sure you're flying through the sky. Bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing past your toes. Where are your toes? Bzzz, ooh, you gotta get really low, bzzz, to buzz by your toes. Bumblebee, bumblebee, I'm coming back. Bumblebee, bumblebee, bzzz, buzzing on your nose. Bzzz. Don't let it sting you. Just let it buzz. Bzzz. Oh, very good, bumblebees. Well, now that bumblebee is not going to just stay by my toes and by my nose. Now I have this little bumblebee finger puppet. <laughs> he is going to buzz all around other places on my body. You can make a bumblebee. Pick a finger that's a bumblebee. <gasps> that reminds me, I forgot to do something. Pick a finger that could be the bumblebee and you can do this along with me. This is your grab and go craft activity today. You're going to make your own bumblebee finger puppet. I'm going to use it for this next song. It's to the rhyme of Jingle Bells. A Christmas song. We're doing a bee song to the tune of Jingle Bells? How fun is that? Okay, follow along with me with your bee. Bumblebee, bumblebee, landing on my nose. Oh, there he is, he's on my nose. <laughs> he's gonna be backwards on my nose. Bumblebee, bumblebee, now he's on my toes. Where's your toes? Can I get my toes up here? Can I get my bee on my toes? There he is. Ah! He made it to my toes. Buzz, 
Bumblebee. <laughs> Let's start all over. I got all mixed up. Bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing on my nose. Bumblebee, bumblebee, now he's on my toes. Touching my toes. On my arm. Got your arm? Got your bee on your arm? On my legs. You can't see my legs, but he's gonna go on my knee. On my elbow. There's my elbow. He's buzzing on my elbow. Bumblebee, oh bumblebee, he lands on my shoulder and then he goes. Let's try that again. Let's see. Have you got a bumblebee that's flying all around? Bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing on my, landing on my nose. Bumblebee, bumblebee, landing on my, <laughs> bring him up here, toes. On my arm, on my leg, on my elbow. Bumblebee, oh bumblebee, he lands and then he goes. Okay, I hope your bumblebee, maybe your bumblebee will land on your ear. Can you make your bumblebee move from your ear to your chin? There he is. He's on his chin. Can you make your bumblebee land on your neck? <gasps> there it is, it's on my neck. I can't see you because my neck's there. Can you make him land on your head? There he is, bumblebee on your head. <gasps> oh. When you get your grab and go bag and you get to make your bumblebee, see how many places he can go flying. Maybe he'll go flying in your house and he'll land on the refrigerator. Or maybe he'll go flying in your house. You'll take him buzzing around and he will land on your bed. <gasps> See where you can take your bumblebee buzzing around to. Okay. Oh, I gotta get him off my finger. He's kind of stuck on there. Come on, bumblebee. There we go. You will have all the pieces. I'm going to show you how to make your bumblebee craft in just a little while. But that reminded me, I forgot to tell you, we're doing a sign language. And I forgot to tell you the sign language for B. To do sign language for B, it's a two part. It takes two parts to do the B. First, you're going to put your thumb and your pointer finger together and touch your cheek. That's the B. Now, in sign language, once you put the B to your cheek, then you swat him away. So this is a two part. First, you make your B on your cheek and then you swat him away. This is how you say B in sign language. B. I'm going to try it on my other cheek. Put my thumb and my pointer finger together. It's going to land on my cheek like it's kissing me. My other fingers are up and when I say B, I swat him away. B. <gasps> Do that in sign language with me. Put them together. B. <laughs> Pretty fun. I couldn't make bees, make these be our bees flying all over, although we could pretend it's the first part of the B flying all over, but we gotta swat him away. B, in sign language. Okay, now that I forgot that, but I got to tell you, we're going to do another song about a bee. Oh, I've already done all that. I've gone through all my songs already, except for this one. Do you know the song about, do your ears hang low, do they wobble to and fro? We're changing that one to a bee song. So maybe I will we'll pretend these are my bees. We'll pretend this is the bee. And it goes like this. Do you like to buzz? Are you covered all in fuzz? Do you call a hive a home in the garden where you roam? Are your stripes a little funny? Oh, wait a minute. Do you know how to make honey? Are your stripes a little funny? Do you like to buzz. I'm gonna go back to my finger puppet. I'm gonna put my finger puppet back on. And we're gonna do the song with the finger puppet. Let's see if I can get it right this time. Are you ready to do it with me? Here we go. Do you like to buzz? Bzzz? Are you covered all in fuzz? Do you call a hive a home in the garden where you roam? Are your stripes a little funny? 
Do you know how to make honey? Are your stripes a little funny? Do you like to buzz? Do you like to buzz? Are you covered all in fuzz? Do you call a hive a home in the garden where you roam? Do you know how to make honey? Are your stripes a little funny? Do you like to buzz? Bzzz? Okay. The words to that song are going to be on the paper in your grab and go bag. So you can practice it when you make your B and sing the song. All right, I need to remove my five Bs off the board. So we're gonna count backwards. Here's five, four, three, two, one. My Bs are gone. I'm going to take their beehive with them and put them over here because I have another story I want to do on the board. This actually comes from a real book I have at the library and I will show you what that book is. It's called Buzz, said the bee. Hmm. This bee is going to kind of make a noisy story. I hope you will do the animal songs with me as we go. Where is my story? Oh, it's right there. Right under my face, I can't even see it. Buzz, said the bee, is a story by Wendy mm, Shayette Lewison. Once there was a bee bzzz, who sat on a quack, 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 quack. What is that? Yes, it's a duck. I'm gonna put my duck up here on the board and the bee is going to sit on the duck. <laughs> Quack, said the duck. There's a bee on me. And then the duck said, scat. But the bee just sat. So the duck quacked again. Can you quack with me? Quack. And sat on a, you're gonna call this something else. <gasps> It's the female chicken. What do you call a female chicken? It's a hen. The duck sat on the hen. Oh no, look at that. We have a bee, we have a duck, we have a hen. Oh no. Cluck, said the hen. Do a hen sound with me. What does the chicken sound like? Cluck, 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 said the hen. There's a duck on me. What does the duck say? Quack. Then the hen said, scat. But the duck just sat. So the hen danced a jig and sat on a, I gotta move my things up. Oh, come on. Come up, come up. Now I've gone too high. I need my hen. I need my duck. I need my bee. The hen danced a jig and she sat on a pig. The hen danced a jig and sat on the pig. There we go. Bee, duck, hen, pig. <gasps> and you know what the pig said when the hen sat on the pig? What does a pig say? Oink, 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 oink. Maybe you like to do it that way, said the pig. There's a hen on me. Then the pig said, scat. But the hen just sat. And what does the hen say? Quack, 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 quack. So the pig took a bow and sat on a what farm animal rhymes with the word bow? The pig took a bow and sat on the cow. Uh-oh, here goes the pig sitting on the cow. Can you see him? We have the bee, Bzzz. We have the duck, quack, quack, quack. We have the hen, quack, 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 quack. We have the pig sitting on a cow, and a cow says, what? Moo, moo, said the cow. 
There's a pig on me. <coughs> Scat, said the cow, but the pig just sat. <coughs> so the cow began to weep. I wonder what a cow weeping sounds like. <coughs> and he sat, she sat on a, whoops, I'm going to show you what it is. A sheep who was fast asleep. What does a sheep say? Bah, bah. I wonder if they say that when they're sleeping or if they go. Bah, bah. Well, the sheep, you think it woke up when all those things landed on top of it? The sheep said, bah. the cow said, let me hear it. Moo! Can you tell me what the pig says? Oink, oink, oink. Can you tell me what the hen says? Cluck, 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 or bark, quack, 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 quack. And then the duck, quack, 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 said the, the duck. And the bee said, bzzz. And that's all there was. <laughs> we have a giant totem pole of animals, one on top of each other, in the farmyard. Good thing the bee didn't buzz and sting anybody. It just landed on the animals. Maybe the bee was looking for some company. Maybe he lost his hive and he wanted some company. Well, we're going to end our bee story time today with another song I bet you have heard before. You might have done this one before. What if you brought home a baby bumblebee to your mom? What would your mom say? Would she like it? Would she say, get that bee out of here? Would she say, I don't like bees? What would your mom say? Here's the song. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch! It stung me! Oh no, we got a bite from a bee. Here's what I would do next. I'm squishing up a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be surprised at me? I'm squishing up a baby bumblebee. Squish, squish, squish. Did you squish up your baby bumblebee? Now you have bumblebee all over your hands. I wonder if it tastes like honey. You know how we can find out? I'm licking up a baby bumblebee. Lick it off your hands. Mm -hmm. Won't my mommy be surprised at me? I'm licking up a baby bumblebee. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Did that bumblebee taste like honey? No, it did not. I'm spitting out my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be surprised at me? I'm spitting out my baby bumblebee. Bah! 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 Did you spit it out? <laughs> That's such a fun song. I really like doing that song. Should we do it again? It's one of my favorites. Let's do it again. This time, if you didn't follow along with me the first time, you can do it with me this time. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. <gasps> Ouch! It stung me! I'm squishing up a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be surprised at me? I'm squishing up a baby bumblebee. Squish, squish, squish all over my hands. I'm licking up a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy 
be surprised at me. I'm looking up a baby bumblebee. Slurp. 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 I'm spitting out the baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be surprised at me? I'm spitting out the baby bumblebee. Don't really spit, please. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, don't catch any more baby bumblebees to take home to mom. Okay, do you like bumblebee songs? Do you like bumblebee rhymes? Here is our story. Buzz, said the bee. This book has been around the library for a very long time. The cover is well worn. So I'm gonna open it up and you can see. Buzz, said the bee. It's just like the story I did on the board. <gasps> Instead of reading the book, we made it into a flannel, well not a flannel, a magnet story. Oh, here's another one of my favorite bee stories. The bees sneeze. And this time it's not farm animals, although there is a duck. But there's alligators and tigers and bears. What are they gonna do if they hear a bee sneeze? Achoo! Oh, and of course, magic school bus inside a beehive. If you wanna learn about bees and what they do in their beehive, you know a magic school bus is going to be a very good book to read about that. Here's one called When the Bees Fly Home. And there is, whoops, there is the beehive. It doesn't look anything like the beehive that they build up in the tree, but if you drive around in the country, you might see a lot of these tall stacks of boxes. That is beehives. That is what the beekeepers are using to get the honey. Maybe you'll get to take a drive in the country someday and look for some. Here is King Solomon and the bee. Hmm. Looks like the bee might be going to land on his nose. Do you think a king would like it if a bee landed on his nose? It's been a long time since I've read the book. I can't quite remember what happens in it. I'll have to read it again after story hour is done. Then we have bees, the busy honey makers. This is a nonfiction book, so this is true, telling you all about bees. And I have another nonfiction book called Honey Bees. I wonder how you tell the difference between a bumblebee and a honeybee. And are there other kind of bees? great nonfiction books to help us find out. Oh, because here's another kind of bee. It's called a yellow jacket. Is a yellow jacket a bee? Or is it like a wasp? <gasps> so many different kind of bugs to find out about. But come to the library and look for these books. I will have them on the display. You can learn more about bees or just have some fun stories about bees. And of course, get my right sheet. We have some YouTube stories. I found one called The Very Greedy Bee. Then there's one called I Am a Bee. All of these books are stories, but you'll learn a little bit about them too, about bees. The Happy Bee was another fun story. It was a short one on, on YouTube. And then Will Be the Bumblebee. Look on YouTube for some bee stories that you can watch. Now, I said, this is your craft. You get to make the bumblebee. There are instructions on your sheet on how to make the bumblebee. So let me grab a craft bag, a grab and go bag. It's in the brown bag today. The sheets with here is the beehive, where are the bees? And I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee and how to say bee, bee in sign language. Put the bee on your cheek and swat him away. Oh, I wanted to show you too. Some more fun things to do. Maybe you make, can make a sensory bin. There are some wagon wheel macaronis. If you look in the macaroni section of the, of the grocery store, you can find wagon wheel macaronis that kind of look like beehives, the little honeycombs. And you can put bees in there. They put the letters in there. They put some honey. This is what you can stick inside of a honey jar to dip out the honey instead of using a spoon. This one has, they did yellow rice. Oh no, that one's not yellow rice. Yeah, they did do yellow rice. Have you ever used honeycomb, have you eaten honeycomb breakfast cereal? 
Maybe you could put some of them in a bin. It might be a little sticky because it's a kind of a sugary cereal. But this one, yes, this one they did put in. They colored rice yellow. They put in some fake flowers. If you can find some toy plastic bees to put in there, and I know you can't see it, but there's a really cute hexagon, um, kind of like bowls in there that I thought would be fun. So some ideas on what things you can do for bees. Is that it? Nope, there's one more sheet. Because you probably have an egg carton at home. You can make that your a bee pollen counting activity. They are using pom-poms. If you have yellow pom-poms, you can use those. You could even make it flowers. Use some little tweezers and find ways to count the pollen in the egg carton. It could become your honey, your hive, your beehive. And then of course, last week, if you saw the turtle made with the potato masher, this time they've dipped the potato masher into yellow paint and made a bee. How cute is that? Okay, all your sheets with all the fun stuff you can do. And here are the parts to make your bee finger puppet. You're going to have two hearts. There's one, there's two. You know what the hearts become? They are the bee's wings. So the hearts become the wings. You're going to have two circles, a big one with a hole punched in it, and a littler one. So this one is the body of the bee that your finger will stick through. This one you glue to the top to make the head of the bee. And then you're going to find two black rectangles. So what you will do with your two black rectangles is you will get your scissors, you will cut one in half, make a long strip. So you have two long strips. What do you suppose they're going to be on the bee? Where did I use them on my bee? Right up here. They became the bee's antennas and I curled them, glued them onto the back and I have my bee's antennas. Now you have this smaller black rectangle. You're going to cut it in half too, or maybe more than half. Actually, I think I cut mine into three strips. So I had one, there's a strip. Ooh, this is where it gets challenging because it's small already. And you're gonna cut another strip. Ooh, there we go. One, two, three, whoops, over here. And do you know what I use them for? Of course, our bumblebee has to have stripes. So I glued the stripes on. If my stripe was too long, because my stripes are very long, first you're gonna glue the stripes on to the big circle. So glue your stripes onto the big circle because they're going to be long and then you can just cut them off to the right length. Once I glued it on and it went over the edge, then I could cut it off to make it the right edge, right length. So I glue on my black stripes onto my bee's body. <laughs> this one I cut into pieces so it would fit around there. Then you're going to want to glue on the head and then you're going to want to glue on the wings and then you're going to want to glue on the antennas and your bee is still missing something what is your bee missing your bee is missing the eyes and the smiley face you will draw on i hope you will have fun with your bees. And this summer, be watching for bees and don't be afraid of them. Don't bother them, but don't be afraid of them. Think about all the ways they help us with our food production. Okay, our story time has come to an end. It's time to do the goodbye song, but don't leave me right after the goodbye song because I still have some things to tell you. Okay, let's see. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time 
to say goodbye. Thank you for joining me for Toddler Story Time. And now I have to tell you, this is my last virtual Toddler Story Time for this season. Because next week we start summer reading program. I still will do story times. I'm just not gonna do a preschooler and a toddler story time. I'm going to do a children's story time. So everybody from the age of zero to nine years old might wanna join me for story time. And I will not be in the library. I will be across the street, kitty corner across the street at Harley Davidson Rally Point. So next Tuesday and next Wednesday, join me at Harley Davidson Rally Point for our Tales and Tales summer reading program. I will be there doing story hours with all of you. 10 o'clock, 10 to 11 on Tuesday and on Wednesday. I'm doing the same program. I'll do it on Tuesday and then I'll do the same thing again on Wednesday. So if you can't come to one day but you can come to the other day, you'll get to do the story time. But if the weather's bad, like today, it looks like it could rain. If it's raining during that story time, cancel it. We're not gonna be there. But that's okay, because I am still going to do a virtual story time on Tuesday afternoons from 1 to 1.30. I'll do a Facebook Live like I'm doing now, but it'll be the story time one. A little bit smaller version, shorter version. But you can come see me live or on Tuesdays in the afternoon from 1 to 1.30, you could watch the video. Or maybe you had so much fun in the morning you wanna watch the video again. Wednesdays. I will do a video from 1 to 1.30 in the afternoon showing you the craft. I will still have grab and go activity bags. You can pick them up at story time. You can come to the library and get them, but I will have activities and crafts. And then Wednesday afternoons, if you wanna wait till Wednesday afternoon from 1 to 1.30, I will do a quick little video showing you how to put the craft together. There is also, so I have a children's summer reading program. Tweens and teens, I'm not forgetting you. I might not be doing story times at Harley Davidson Rally Point, but we will on Thursdays from three to four do some programs on the library balcony. If it's raining, we'll come inside. This tells you all the things we're going to do. We're gonna play Hungry Hungry Hippos. We're gonna do tabletop Hungry Hungry Hippos next Thursday for the tweens and teens. On the back of these sheets, story times are great in the summer, but there's also summer reading program. We are once again doing Read Squared. You can go on sturgis.readsquared.com. You can sign up, log in your kids, log in yourself, adults, and start the reading program. Instead of getting a whole bunch of papers that you have to keep track of, you can do it online. There's even an app. Keep track of them online. Put online the books you're reading. There are also missions, some fun activities to do. You're getting points for every book you read, every ebook you read, every audiobook you read. Children, I'm not sure if it's just the toddlers or if it's both pre-K and children. The days you read count, you're going to get points. 10 points for the books, 20 points for the ebooks and the audiobooks, 20 points for the days that you read. On the missions, when you go into Read Square, there's a spot that says missions. There's one doing animal yoga. Can you do animal yoga poses? If you do that mission, complete it, mark it completed, you're gonna get points. The points, excuse me, for the missions will vary. It could be 10 points, it could be 20 points, it could be 50 points. You are adding up to 1,000 points for this summer for the reading program. Story hours are different. Reading program, 1,000 points. When you've gotten to 1,000 points, you have until August 20th. But when you get that far, you are ready for some prizes, which we will talk about in August, because we want to do another picnic in the park and give out prizes then. But so much about summer reading, summer story hours. I handed out these pages, these papers. I took them to the schools. So hopefully your children are coming home with them. If you don't have children in school yet, come to the library, we have these. If you want to sign up, let me know. I can help you get on Read Squared. I just got paper logs yesterday. I haven't quite got them ready yet, but there's so much going on at the library and you'll get to see me in person starting next week. I hope I will see you then. Have a great day. Bye.